the second experiment is frequency modulation and demodulation. In amplitude modulation, what we did? The amplitude of the signal varied with respect to the carrier frequency of the signal. But here, the frequency will be varied, keeping your amplitude and phase it's constant. Okay. So for this, again, we are giving a 500 hertz of message yeah, signal. That is a message signal. And carrier is generated internally. Okay. In the circuit, it's been generated internally, carrier frequency. Uh, so the message signal is of 500 hertz input. The message signal is 500 hertz. It's showing around 485 hertz. And the amplitude is 4 volt. It's a fixed set. And even the message signal is frequency is also fixed set. Now, we can <coughs> see the carrier frequency over here at this point. Carrier frequency not here, over here, yeah. Over there, carrier frequency, which has been internally generated, we can check it over at this point, test point. Uh, that is your TP4. Okay, the carrier frequency is 2.5 kilohertz roughly. Now, after checking these two individual signals, you can rig up the circuit like this. Connect the test point S01 output to the modulating signal input and as usual you are ground to ground you want the int uh, waveform to be match with that you can put it here connect this to the ground one ground is enough for your dso so i can see the modulated output over here yeah it's coming over here no no uh, this is Right. Yes. Yellow is, is your the input and yeah, yellow is your input message signal, and the blue color channel two is your output FM frequency modulated output. As you see, you can see observe here two frequency component. One is your higher frequency and one is your lower frequency. Fine. So what happens is here when the sine wave is a positive end you will get a high frequency over here when these are the negative edge you will get a low frequency, Less frequency. Okay. okay so if you want you can measure that two frequencies what is the frequency range you can measure that demodulated block input for demodulation yeah and as usual ground to ground release this Connected to the output. This is a ground. This set. So, in case if you are not getting the output properly, you have to tune this um, potentiometer. Yes. So the frequency remains same and the amplitude also will be same. Okay. So input frequency is 500 hertz, the output frequency is also same. You can see here, this is uh, showing one box is 2 volt means, this is also in 2 volt. So it's 2 boxes, 2 into 2, 4 volt, 2 into 2, 4 volts. So 4 volt amplitude, 500 hertz frequency. Input you are giving the 2 volt, sorry, 4 volt, 500 hertz, output you are getting. 4 volt 500 hertz. Yeah, this is now looking good. Okay. This is a demodulated output waveform.